Today, I'm going to be showing you a super simple and free way to record voiceovers for YouTube. Let's jump in. So today I'm going to be walking you through two methods to record voiceovers. One, if you have a microphone that plugs into your computer through a USB. And the second method is if you don't have a microphone at all. So I'm going to be using a tool called Veed, which you can head over to veed.io in your web browser. It's all web-based. It's totally free. There are some paid accounts, but the free version will do everything that I'm describing today in the video. And I'll also put a link in the description so you can just head right over over to this. And for this example, I just loaded in a little screen share video I did of GarageBand. And what I want to do is I want to add a voiceover to lay over on that. So this is just the primary workspace that you'll be working in in Veed. And we're just going to go over to audio. And then you see right up here at the top, we have voiceover. So we're going to click on that. Now this method is if you already have a microphone, you just need to make sure that that's plugged into your computer. And then down here in this section, you can select that microphone if you have multiple microphones or audio sources plugged into your computer. In my case, I am using the Yeti stereo microphone, which is right here. Now, a quick note on microphones. You could really spend anything you want on microphones. And I have found that unless you're professional grade and you know exactly the types of sound profiles that you want from your audio recordings, a simple microphone with like this, which was under $100 when I bought it a couple of years ago, there's even ones that are less expensive than that. You can select that down below here. Now, if you get more serious and you really want to invest into it, there are options to buy more expensive microphones that give you a crisper, cleaner sound or have other functions that way. For what I'm doing, I find this Blue Yeti microphone to be very adequate. Once you have that microphone selected, all you need to do is head over to where it says record and start talking. Now it's gonna play through on the timeline so you can see where you're at in the video. Um, but my recommendation is to just continue recording. You can always go back and edit it later. So just get everything that you need recorded as best you can. You can always pause and restart if you need to, but if you have a script, have the script up on the screen so you can read the script and record at the same time. Uh, let me just do a little sample here. We'll hit record and it gives you a little countdown here. And this here, we are looking at the GarageBand app for the iPad. And you can see there is the main screen here that we're looking at. And we're looking at the string instruments. And we'll just stop there. And then once you're done recording, you can play it back and hear what it sounds like. And this here, we are looking at the GarageBand app for the iPad. And you can see there is the main screen here that we're looking at, just like that. From there, you could go to another spot, record a new section. Now we're gonna talk about recording the strumming of your guitar in GarageBand. As we strum this on the iPad, you can see that it makes the noises we need to. And so as you see, when you're recording the voiceover, they're separate from the video, so you don't ruin anything. You can move these around independently of the video. You can trim them down or make them longer, whatever you need to do to, to fit that in there. So that's why I say you can always record more and edit it out as you need to. So that's one method to get a voiceover in there. But let's say you don't have a microphone or you don't like the sound of your voice or you don't wanna put the time into recording that yourself. I'll show you method two, which also works in Veed here, to get a voiceover without a microphone. So we're just gonna click done and get out of this. And then what we wanna do is we're gonna go up here to AI voice, click on that. And now you see you have a section here that you can add your script into. So I'm just gonna copy a part of my script here and paste it in there. Now there is a character limit on the free version. So you may need to upgrade if you have a lot more that you need to record in there. Uh, then you can switch the languages down here. You can go through and preview different people. If you don't have a mic, you can generate a... If you don't have a mic, you can generate a... There you go. That's a good, good one there. And you just click generate and it just takes a few seconds to create that clip. And then once that generates, it'll create a new audio clip down here. And then the same rules apply. You can edit that, you can trim it, you can move it around independently. So if you don't have a microphone or don't wanna record your own voiceover, you could select the voice that you want and be able to add it into your video that way. So there you have it, two different methods to record voiceovers for your YouTube videos. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.